It's hard to do anything with depression. Art and disavowal. Uh, wait, um, shit. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Art is generally undefined and misunderstood. Is this art? Is this? Is color art? How many color is and one art? Google's definition is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Basically, Art is media with meaning, however simple. Simple objects and even colors are appealing. Given the option, would you change the solid color of a wall from one you disliked to one you preferred? What about a single shape of that color? A pattern? A mixed pattern? A pattern so complex it's almost too chaotic to understand? A combination of all of the above? <laughs> At what point did that become art? To answer that using our earlier definition, we simply have to ask what meaning would any of that have? The first question would obviously be answered yes by anyone who cared about the subject at hand, which means you if you're still watching this video, so don't give me none of that. I would have said no because I'm 12 years old and feel better about myself when I play the contrarian crap. But unless that color has meaning, by our own definition, that still doesn't make it art. Given that art is subjective, and therefore any feeling gained from observing that art would be an interpretation, a meaning you've applied, and been validated on, the meaning of that color, shape, or pattern is the concept of appeal, if nothing else. This includes disliking a color, or prescribing no meaning at all as to find something meaningless is still to interpret it. Its meaning is the concept of meaninglessness, an anti-fetish of sorts a denial of presence when something is very much there. There are many facts that any of us on a given day will find disputed, and regardless of who is correct, there is a mixed interpretation of the meaning of these facts. Both parties disagree on the meaning of the other side's evidence, and therefore both parties disagree on the outcome of that evidence. If one person holds position A, and the other person holds position B, the first person might say, here is evidence A. Clearly, this evidence proves position A to be correct. Person B might come back with, no, that evidence simply proves that position B is correct and you are being coerced, or duped, or fooled, perhaps even fucked with. My purpose here isn't to declare either person correct, but to apply our definition of art to these pieces of evidence. Consider a flat earth argument. Regardless of your personal position, I'm sure you consider the other position straight up goofy. You may disprove the evidence a proponent of the other position provides by providing science of your own, but given that your science can still be interpreted, however inaccurately, does that not make your science a form of art? You may find the cognitive dissonance disgusting, infuriating, hilarious, no doubt you've had some sort of emotional reaction to the way people are today. Does that not make these people art? Art has been boxed into very closed-minded definitions, generally only including things without function beyond their meaningful interpretation, or at most entertainment value. Though I've brought up some divisive subjects, I want to make clear that the purpose of this video is not to demonize any side of today's common arguments, but simply to frame art itself as something larger than what we've come to accept it as. Art is a mindset more than anything. Art is a willingness to look at something from multiple perspectives and accept them all as true in some way. Is the Mona Lisa a happy piece because she's smiling, or a sad piece because of the context in which the picture exists or was created? Is fire hot? How hot? Can it be cooled by burning different chemicals or elements? Art is questions, and an artist, a true artist, is someone willing to ask them to experiment and discover new things even if it means discovering them through failure. 
We should learn from past mistakes and avoid repeating them, but we should never let fear of making mistakes keep us from moving forward. Oh, and also, Black Lives Matter, Flat Earth is nonsense, and white genocide is a lie. Abolish the state. Have a good day. If we know the game is rigged, why do we still play? Oh, man, recording videos is a pain in the ass. Uh, so, funny story, I actually couldn't, uh, the program crashed before I could export the video the first time. Um, and my hard drives are overflowing, so I thought I would clean them up a little bit. Uh, and I didn't know how video editing programs work, so I accidentally deleted all of the files I was using, or deleted or, uh, like, compressed all of the files I was using in the editor file, so I had to redo this video twice. Uh, and I still haven't exported it yet, so I still don't know if it's going to work. Hope it does, because, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, that was just kind of a random thought I had. Uh, I don't really, like, listening to it over recording it, I'm not sure if I still really believe some of it strongly. Uh, I don't know, I think it's it's interesting, the way we, we have limited the definitions of art. And I think art is more of a, a way of doing something rather than a specific subject. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Um, subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the dislike button. Uh, share it on YouTube. Doc, share, copy my video and post it to your own channel. Uh, don't. I don't know. I don't know how algorithms work. Uh, okay, that's enough. I'm. I'm gonna stop talking now.